Welcome to EFB Pro for Windows. EFB Pro has five major components. Performance, weight and balance, tankering, risk management, and holdover times. There is also access to integrated flight planning and EAPIS, FAA legal weather briefings, airport and FBO services, and full text FARs, AIM, advisory circulars, national airspace status, MELs, and more. We'll return to these in a moment. The familiar FMS look and feel of the program works equally well on desktop computers using a mouse and tablet computers utilizing a touchscreen. The alphanumeric keypad is fully functional and the buttons illuminate to alert the user which options are available. EFB Pro for Windows does not require an internet connection to run. Having connectivity adds some functionality but is not required to run performance and weight and balance calculations, allowing crew to determine landing assessment numbers while in flight. The program is modular in nature. The operator, and not the software provider, decides which modules are important for their department. As the system is modular, it does not matter which order the user enters. You can start with performance and then go to weight and balance, or start with weight and balance and go to performance. Either way, the data is shared between modules. We'll start with the weight and balance. Here the interior of your aircraft is displayed. To use standard weights, which are adjusted by the user, simply place the passenger in the appropriate seat. Changing between male and female, winter and summer weights is as easy as selecting the desired button on the left margin of the FMS. Winter and summer will default to the correct setting based upon calendar dates. You can also enter actual weights or mix and match as we have done here. We will now proceed by clicking next which is illuminated. Values that are normally included in the BOW such as crew members are shown here so adjustments can be made as needed. Fuel and baggage weights can be entered by selecting the illuminated buttons on the FMS. According to our flight plan, we anticipate 8,000 pounds of fuel needed to complete the mission. Multiple fuel tanks are supported. Pressing next shows the fuel burn shift within the CG envelope. Notice that the passenger count as well as the weight is recorded on this page. Here also you can enter the anticipated fuel burn for the flight. Limits are checked continuously and changed to red when outside the CG envelope. The values can be changed to percent of MAC if desired. The master warning light alerts the user to any parameters out of the range or when key steps have been missed. Pressing the button outlines the issue. A yellow warning light can be quieted, but a red one cannot by pressing the button. Additional information can be entered on this page, such as crew member names and route information. The entire form can be printed or emailed. Emailing can be set to automatic, whereby the weight and balance is sent to two stored email addresses by simply pressing email. Conversely, in the manual mode, an on-the-fly email address can be entered and sent. EFB Pro supports company logo images that can be affixed to both the printout and email. Returning to the main screen, we will now calculate performance. Let's start with field conditions. As the runway database is installed, as shown by the illuminated runway button, we can automatically fill this page with current data. The default airport, which the user selects, is shown. You can select a different airport from the list or manually enter the ICAO code. Immediately the available runways fill the list box and the most current METAR appears. Since the wind is coming out of the north, we'll select runway 01. Notice that the available runway lengths for the takeoff and landing are displayed. The NOS button allows the user to view the current NOS charts for the selected airport. 
We can now accept this data, which returns us to the field conditions page with all the parameters entered and the current weather parsed. You can, of course, manually override any of these values. On the bottom of the field conditions page, you can toggle the appropriate runway condition. Most aircraft have wet and dry data available, and many have contaminated, such as standing water, slush, and so on. This is limited by what appears in the AFM. Press Next to move us on to the departure phase. Here you can select if the criteria will be VFR by leaving all the fields blank, clearing a known obstacle, or flying a published departure. Selecting the NOS key will open a list of current departure plates for the airport selected. This allows the pilot to seamlessly review the requirements for this departure. The required gradient, or the height and distance of the obstacle in the case of known obstacles, can be manually entered here and any adjustments such as use of steep bank angles, ICAO versus TERPS criteria, etc. can be selected. In this example, I'm going to enter 350 feet per nautical mile up to 4,000 feet. We press Next to continue and select whether you want takeoff or landing calculations, flap and anti-ice settings, and then press Next to continue. The systems that apply to the phase of flight and flap setting appear. Notice that the calculated weight from the weight and balance appears. Press Next and the results of this calculation appear. This is a good example of how the calculator can optimize the takeoff weight by extending second segment out to the engine time limit to clear the gradient by displaying a second segment top of climb value. It should be noted that all MSL values are adjusted for low temperature and barometric pressure settings. High to low, look out below, it's already taken into account with EFB Pro. If a level off segment were required, then a level off height in MSL would have been displayed and the geometry of the acceleration and cleanup segment would be factored into the analysis. With EFB Pro, the aircraft always stays above the obstacle clearance surface on a net takeoff flight path and those obstacle clearance surfaces are established and flight tested by the FAA or other government agencies to ensure safety. Since none of the calculated values are less than the calculated takeoff weight from the weight and balance, none of the values appear in red. EFB Pro prints out a handy told card that folds from a single sheet of paper to a 4 by 5 inch card with the weather on one side and the performance numbers on the other. EFB Pro does not pigeonhole the user into a one weight fits all solution. Although EFB Pro provides maximum weights to take you all the way into the root structure, there are instances when the user will wish to restrict their takeoff weight only to the top of second segment or field length due to clear skies and the ability to see and avoid. These weight restrictions are displayed also. The next point of business then is to calculate how much fuel to put on board. Press the illuminated calc button. Here you select the limiting weight from the performance section you wish to conform. The passenger and baggage weights are fed from the weight and balance calculation. The maximum amount of fuel consistent with the takeoff weight restriction is displayed. Adjust the weight of fuel you actually desire on board, the weight already on board, and the system displays the amount of fuel in gallons to upload. If multiple tanks are available, the distribution is made automatically. Accurate and clear instructions to relay to line or customer service personnel. Note also that the new fuel weight entered is ported back to the weight and balance module. Since there is room available to possibly tanker fuel, we will demonstrate that next. Basically, we enter what we know. The price of fuel at our departure is $5.40. The destination fuel is $6.70. But the FBO will waive $200 worth of ramp fees if you purchase 200 gallons of fuel. We know it's a two-hour flight, 
and we already decided our mission weight is 39,000 pounds. We plan to fly at long range crews at flight level 230 and it's a normal ice a day. We press the calc button to continue. The left column is the number of gallons you desire above and beyond the mission fuel load. For instance, if we wanted to have an extra 500 gallons of fuel after shutting down at our destination, we should tanker 542 gallons, the 42 gallons are consumed transporting the extra 3,000 pounds of fuel, buy nothing at the FBO, pay the full ramp fee, and still save $224.33. Of course, always recheck your weight and balance and performance if you change your takeoff weight. Risk management is based on Flight Safety Foundation's checklist. Risk factors are the this flight variables where you enter the type of approaches and the pilot skills. The reduction factors are variables that don't change that often, such as corporate culture and standard operating practices. These are saved for you so you don't have to enter them each time you run the risk assessor. The results page tabulates the results, issuing both a numeric score and a threat level based upon the conditions set forth in the risk factors section. This report can be emailed just as the performance and weight and balance can be emailed. The fifth component, holdover time calculations, are updated yearly for U.S. and Canadian operators. The multiple footnotes dealing with restrictions on each product, such as temperature limits, are factored into the calculation. The user selects the type of solution used and the brand name applied. The system prompts for more or less information depending on the type of precipitation encountered. If snow is selected, the new visibility criteria for determining the intensity is shown. Other factors that affect the solution are toggled per governmental guidelines. The result page shows a continuum of effective time limits. The system highlights dangerous time effective limitations. The user selects the time limit he or she is comfortable with and starts the timer. The start time can be reset to coincide with the application start time. A countdown clock appears and the hot button illuminates. The user can return to other parts of the program while the timer runs. Pressing the hot button returns the user to the timer. The button and timer turn red when the time runs out. Finally, there is another menu that opens the EFB Pro library. Here, a complete library of searchable FARs, AIM, and advisory circulars is provided. Also, current TFRs, ICE reports, and the National Airspace System of Airport Delays is available. On the right side, you can enter your own links, MELs, checklists, etc., both online or resident on the computer, can be listed. Multiple aircraft from different manufacturers can be installed simultaneously. Selecting a different aircraft is as simple as selecting the current tail number button and then selecting a different aircraft. Pressing save loads all the performance and weight and balance information for that aircraft. We just received a message from our built-in messaging system. Messages are unique to this tail number and cataloged together. Think Twitter for a tail number. I'll call myself the PIC, and here the dispatcher is updating some fuel prices and a passenger request. I'll respond. The dispatcher screen and other users of the system associated with a flight will immediately begin to flash, alerting them to new messages. Passenger messages are segregated from operational messages. I hope you have enjoyed viewing our product. Keep in mind that you can choose one or more of the modules, single or flight department licenses, and add on databases that renew annually. Thank you for considering EFB Pro from CAVU Companies.